I get, um, what's the word? I get, I get kind of rushed in my mind that if I'm working with someone in my head, I'm thinking, this is the only encounter I might have with this person, so I need to drive it home now. Whereas what I'm changing to now is, let's focus on building a relationship with this person so that this isn't the only time that we're together, that, that we can meet. Because when I do that, I'm, I'm more able to meet them where they're at. Yes. I'm not rushed into like, I have an hour with this person, I have to move them from here to here. Whereas now I'm com- having conversations with people to where I have to be okay that they're walking away, maybe thinking about things a little bit different, but they may not have changed their mind yet. And I have to be okay with that. And then we're just gonna do this gradually, little by little. And what, I don't know if I've told you this before, but one of the things that struck me in the last couple of years, we did a mass or something, we, and we said the Apostles' Creed. And the part where it says Jesus descended into hell. It snapped something in me. I thought, my goodness, like that's us. Like we are to descend into people's hell in a way like, not to take it on, but to go get them and then bring them out of it. That 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 we that that, that that's not it, that's what we do. He does through us is that we descend into their hell. And why and, it's so important that you develop this relationship because no one is willing to let you in if they don't trust you. Right. And right. So it, it, it's something that, that is really really needed. You're not going to be able to go this way. Oh, you can't. That they're redoing this. So yeah. Oh that's boy. Right. Yeah, I've been here in a while, then. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you have to have that trust, and you have to build that trust, mm-hmm. and it's and it's not a. But I think sometimes, I think sometimes people, there's people in ministry, there's people in the church who are hitting things like really hard all at once, mm-hmm. and sometimes it turns people off. They're like, well, gosh, that's yeah. judgmental, or they they kind of write you off. And that's the that's the that's the hard part about ministry is that our relationship with people is so fragile that it takes so much time to build a relationship but it takes one thing to destroy it. Mm-hmm. And and that's what we have to be so careful about yeah. as well. But that, anyway, that yeah. what you said struck yeah. something in me of what I've been really trying to mm-hmm. beef up on a little yeah. bit myself. Yeah. And so. I think it's like, uh, you've heard of this guy named Socrates, right? This really old guy back in the ancient, ancient, yeah. ancient Greece. Right. right? Um, and you may have heard of what's called the, the Socratic method of, yep. of questioning. Like how important that, that method is uh, in ministry. Yes. Because, uh, so for those who don't know, like, like the Socratic method is using questions. Uh, basically, it's basically allowing the person to develop their thought. Yeah. And to be able to see what flaws there are in their own thought. Yep. It's asking poignant questions uh, about uh, the various statements that they bring up uh, to be able to actually uh, uh, come to the truth or something. Because they paint themselves into a corner eventually. Exactly. And, you know, it's like, oh, wait, well, I have nowhere else to go. And it's uh, and it's, it's it's helpful because when you do that, it's not you who is condemning right. them. You're just letting them see their pers- their perspective on things. Yeah. And you're helping them to develop their thought. Because I think, I think it's also a dangerous thing that um, I think many people can fall into is like when someone says something uh like that is what they believe guaranteed like no we, we, we're always changing mm-hmm. so even when if someone says something crazy uh and and it's like okay uh, or even if it's something that's that's that that's that's really good mm-hmm. that, that, that 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 position can still be developed uh, yeah that may not be where their thought is in five years ten years even tomorrow right, right. right? and so it's like Allowing people to have the benefit of the doubt and the fact that learning is a, is, is a process. And it yeah. takes time to do those types of things. Yeah. Um, and I think that's super important for ministry. Yeah. Because if you do that, you allow the uh, uh, you allow the person you're working with uh, to be able to express themselves. Yeah. And allow them to speak for themselves. And yeah. And not try to like place your own uh, interpretation of, of what right. they are are, uh, right. are are experiencing, and then to be able to help them that way. And that's what.